Okay, so hello everyone, this is Akshay here. I hope you had a great weekend and let us start with the today's week. And today's question name is Height of the Binary Tree. But before that, uh, the yesterday's question was about, it was a very easy question. That is why I skipped the video. That is to insert in a sorted list. So that was very easy, like right? just to find the correct position of a node where you want to insert. That is the node value should be lesser than the value next to it. And then you just insert it, right? So that was very simple. So that's why I skipped it. Yep, and many of you are saying that, uh, like I also saw that my videos are been shooted in 720 pixels, so that is my current limitation of my this laptop. So sale is also going on thinking of buying a new MacBook. Let us see, then we could have uh, even more great experience. Now let us continue with the video. So let us find the height of this binary again. It's a very easy question and a very standard question. Whenever once you have read the tree topic, right? But we should do this question. So given a binary tree to find a height, so for this thing you can clearly see that that's two, right? Let us see how we can do this thing. So for this particular tree, what is the height? This is h1, this is here height one, this is h2, and then what? This is h3 until this point it is h4. Correct? So the output for this particular tree is nothing but four. How we can do this question? How we can do this question? That. Logic here is that what we need to do here ki at every point of node, we have to know that the left jo child and the right child will expand. Ki hai, right? So, for every node, we need to traverse or we need to move in left hand side and right hand side and keep on incrementing the height length as when we encountered a new node. Right? So, let's say a height function which we have to root node pass. Kar rahe honge, ठीक है तो हमें कहां जाना है पॉसिबिलिटी क्या है कि हम लेफ्ट में मूव कर सकते हैं राइट में मूव कर सकते हैं राइट अगर आप देखो अगर हम सिर्फ लेफ्ट में मूव करें इस पर्टिकुलर टी के लिए तो 1 से 2 पे आएंगे 2 से 4 पे आएंगे और बोलेंगे ठीक है हाइट जो है 3 था हमारा बट हमें राइट में भी देखना पड़ेगा ये हम देख पा रहे राइट फॉर दिस टू हमें देखना होगा कि अच्छा राइट की भी पॉसिबिलिटी है सो यहां पे हाइट 1 हो गया ये हाइट 2 ये हाइट 3 और ये हाइट 4 ठीक तो इसका मतलब कि हमें मैक्सिमम चाहिए फ्रॉम बोथ ऑफ द ब्रांचेस सो सबसे पहले तो हम रिकर्शन जो इसका होगा उसमें होगा रिटर्न maximum of ठीक है height function को call करेंगे let's say we are going root dot left first and for each left we are making we need to go in root dot right as well that is where recursion comes in play कि हम हर एक node के लिए हम दोनों possibility consider करना चाह रहे हैं आपे ठीक है इन में से जो maximum आएगा हमें उसको return करना है और क्यों कि हम हमेशा हर root node whenever we are moving one node ahead we are marking the height as plus one, right? So that is why I will say plus one as well. That would be your recursive traversal. What would be the base case? So let us do the traversal now and then we can write the base case by ourselves. So height root of left, right? So from one, where I will go? I'll go to two. From two, where I'll go? I'll again go to four. From four, I'll go again left, but I can see that the child here has null. Both the child are null. So that means I need to write a base case here that if root if equals equals to null, then what we need to do? We need to return zero because आगे कोई कोड ही नहीं है, आगे कोई height ही नहीं है, आगे कोई node ही नहीं है, तो इसका height बनाने का sense नहीं बनता, right? ठीक है, तो यहाँ से क्या return होगा? Let us use a different color. तो यहाँ से होगा return zero. Again, what was the second call? जैसे ही left पूरा हो गया, it will come to its parent call. It will again go to the right. ठीक है, हमने लिखा है कि right में भी जाओ. We need to consider all the possibilities. Again, ये null है, hit, base condition hit हो गया, ये हो जाएगा zero. Now, for this four, all the two calls have been made. What we need to return? We need to return the recursive call we made plus one, right? So in the recursive call, we need to find the maximum from the left and right. What is the value of left? Zero. What is the value of right? Zero. We need to return plus one among the maximum. So maximum of zero, zero would be again zero. Plus one will give you just one. So what would be returned from here? It would be returned one. Okay, just follow the track. Pen and paper, take it better. Yeah, yourself this recursion tree. Make you will be get to a more better understanding. Okay, two pe aage again. Two ka jo jo bhi recursive call tha left ka khatam ho chuka hai. Now we need to move in the right hand side direction. So two will go to five, right? Now for five, we again have to move in left then right. So I'll move to left and for left I will see there is no child, right? So there is no child. There is null here. That means it will return again zero and I'll go to its left. So I'll go to its left again. This six. Whenever there is a leaf node. What we saw that it returns zero, return zero plus one. So that means definitely here, what will happen? One. I am not making two extra pointers of null and null. 
that's uh, self explanatory right so it's one what is the return values for this five from left and right it is zero and one what is the maximum one so maximum plus one that is one plus one will give you as two so i will return two return kar dunga. Hey, yeah? great 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 ठीक है तो अब यहां से 2 का मैक्सिमम क्या हुआ 2 में द द लेफ्ट चाइल्ड इज 1 द राइट चाइल्ड रिटर्निंग द वैल्यू एज 2 मैक्सिमम इज 2 आई विल अगेन रिटर्न द मैक्सिमम प्लस 1 दैट इज आई विल रिटर्न 3 ऑल द लेफ्ट कॉल्स हैव बीन कंप्लीटली ओवर फॉर दिस रूट नोड 1 राइट नाउ आई हैव टू गो फॉर द राइट हैंड साइड अगेन द लीफ नोड नॉट द लीफ नोड द दोस द नोड्स व्हिच डू नॉट हैव एनी चिल्ड्रन राइट लीफ नोड इज द लाइक बॉटम नोड दैट्स नॉट अ लीफ नोड राइट ओके 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 ठीक है तो हम मतलब बेसिकली हम उस नोट की बात कर रहे हैं जहां पे जिसके चिल्ड्रन नल है ठीक है लीफ नोट है या नहीं उसे भी छोड़ देते हैं अभी हम उसकी बात करें जहां पे चिल्ड्रन नल डेफिनेटली हमें देखा इसके लिए क्या यहां से 0 यहां से 0 और ओवरऑल क्या रिटर्न होगा 1 तो हम यहां से वापस से ले लेते हैं अपना रिटर्न 1 नाउ फॉर दिस वन रूट नोड व्हाट इज द वैल्यू फ्रॉम द लेफ्ट लेफ्ट इट इज 3 फ्रॉम द राइट इट इज 1 व्हाट इज द मैक्सिमम 3 3 प्लस 1 विल गिव यू एज 4 एंड दिस 4 इज योर आंसर राइट this one is an answer. So that is why this particular pseudo code will work for this particular problem. And we have successfully code the solution. Now, your task here is to please draw this recursion tree again in your copy and do some more examples. At least one more example. Do one more example and you'll get a much better understanding. If you have a question, you will have a question. If you have a question, you will definitely have a question. You will definitely have a question. But since a question recursion got a is elements on Jai Nathan may be video skip Kardeta. Take it. Let us now pause this uh, pause the video and try to code the solution by yourself and then we can resume back. Take care to year how code is car for in Java from the same season like I John Neva they got a in dry run and uh, in the pseudo code as well. This is submit Kardeta and then we will see what is the time and space quantity for this problem. Great. Yes, submission ho gaya to definitely take a play time of stupid child. So time complex so, while we were doing the traversal what we did that we were visiting the each node at most thrice right team bari visit kar rahe like jab ye hum four pe hai, first visit then i i went to its left line phir second visit hua parent call then again nail pe gaye and then third visit right uske baad hum to chale gaye right so but agar aap dekho constants ko ignore kar dein so that means we are visiting each and every node so that would be o of n right and then what is the space complexity? I am saying O of n again. You could argue with me that O of 1 is not. I have not taken the data structure. But what are you using? You are using a recursion. So recursion is the first rule that you are using a recursive stack. Recursive stack is used here. So when you were on 1, then you went on to 2. 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 Then you went on to 4. 4 is now in the recursive stack. When the kids were 4, child was 0, right? So 4 ने अपनी value return की 1 and now the all the calls have associated with 4 has been completed. So यह recursive stack से pop हो जाता है अपनी value से जाता है. Right? 4 से हम 2 पे गए. कैसे गए? Because हमने यह recursive stack maintain करके रखा था. Recursive stack ने देखा अच्छा. Peak element, st dot peak लगाओ. सब inbuilt चल रहा है. कौन सा ऊपर में element है? 2. तो ठीक है. यह हमारा parent हुआ. जो कि है भी. 2, 2 is the parent of 4. So that is why I am saying it would be of n. Worst case क्या होगा कि हमारे पास इस cute tree होगी इस तरह की 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So for this particular case, all the all the nodes will be in the recursive stack and that is why I am saying O of n would be the space complexity. Great. So if O of n wala solution submit, then definitely this constraint hogi. Wo must have been less than 10 power 8. Great. Yeah. Dekho, number of nodes 10 power 5 ka uska upper bound. Hai. So that is why this code got submitted. Let us switch back to the C++ code. Let us switch back to the C++ now. Yep. That's the same code. The only thing that will change is the null has become null ptr and the dot operator has become this hyphen and then greater than symbol, right? Great, 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 great. So although this question has taken nine minutes, but I hope we have a much better understanding from the videos which are very short and I just show the code. <laughs> great. So okay, we'll see you next time. Keep learning, keep growing, bye-bye and take care guys.